tell me why black women should stop using waves we should stop using wave because we need to represent the african culture we need to project the african culture to the world we need to sell ourselves to the world and i repeat we cannot sell ourselves to the world by, by covering it up there is no way you can do that so our hair is beautiful and if you strongly believe in africa and you are pro-africa i see no reason you should cover your hair with a straight weaves for that matter it's not african hello i'm actually in Wusse market and a lot of people are actually arguing look at them they are arguing that it's not my hair and i'm telling them it's my hair they're thinking it's this can you see yeah, that weave on it's not your hair Oh yeah, come and touch. Can I touch it? Touch it. This <laughs> Oh yeah, look for the weave on. You don't see him. You don't see the weave on. Uh -uh. Yeah, she was looking for the weave on. Oh, you can't find the weave on. I can't find it. It's my natural hair. African hair can grow if only you take care of it with the right yeah. product. I believe it now. So, are yes. you ready to go natural? Yeah. I'm yeah, ready. come now. <laughs> I said, ready. This hair is more than two months. I'll take it three months, then I'll I'm cut ready. my hair, turn it to natural hair. <laughs> See, they're all ready to go natural hair. <laughs> natural I'm hair is the best. So I was actually at her going to a hair factory. I mean, wig factory in China. Some called me that I'm promoting self-hate in Africa. Before I continue this video, you know what? If you are Team Natura or Team Wave, just leave a comment right now. I don't know, should I belong to Team Wave? Well, because, you know, I was wearing the wig too, you know. You know, I even changed my name. Mrs. Maya. I am Maya. I got myself one YouTuber in the house and she's Team Natura. Uh, My name is Maya and um, nice to meet you. Same here, it's a pleasure. A lot of people don't know you and uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Eh? Okay. Hi everyone. My name is ID Francis. I am a Nigerian YouTuber. I am an African hair advocate. I advocate for African women to stop wearing wigs, at least the straight wigs. If they have to wear wigs, extensions or whatever, it should be something that represents the African hair. No. On the other hand, I also advocate for women to stop altering the textures of their hair by using chemical it is possible it is possible i repeat possible for us to rock our hair the way god gave it to us like what i am carrying right now tell me don't you like it i know you're crushing on it already oh my god <laughs> don't you like it i know you are crashing on it already i'm already crashing on it though it's even natural all the way no i'm sorry I'm, i mean it's gonna be a controversial episode i'm gonna ask a lot of questions that I personally want to know. No problem, I'm here with you. Why did you stop wearing wig in the first place? I, the first thing that I actually saw a lot of people going natural and I admire the texture of the hair. You know, all this while I used to apply chemicals on my hair. Chemicals, I mean relaxers. Wow. And I was like, geez, my hair will really, really look beautiful on that. At the point I stopped applying relaxers. I said, okay, let me go natural. I wasn't really sure I'm going to go natural because I've heard a lot of things. Natural hair is very difficult to manage. You won't be able to comb it, but I was determined to go natural. I remember my sister, my stylist telling me I am making the wrong decision of going natural. <laughs> but as it progresses, my natural hair texture started coming out. And when I put my finger through my fro, I just fell in love with it over and over. And I couldn't wait for me to cut chopped off the damaged hair the chemical hair the relaxed hair and see my natural hair how long have you been natural have been natural to be on the safe side from the day i cut my hair I've been natural for a year and few weeks amazing how many of you can do that if you are team natural just let me know and let me know how long have you been natural Hiya maya but people say that african women who wear wigs like i'll use the term self-hate they think they hate, they hate themselves. But I don't agree with you on that because uh, it's not about self-hate. Most of them have not realized because they've not realized how beautiful our African hair is. And most of them, maybe they might be following a trend. Maybe it feels comfortable to rock 
the straight wigs. I'm actually going to emphasize the straight wig because we Africans, wow. at least majority of Africans, don't have that straight hair. Right. Our hair is kinky, is coily, is flowy, is full everywhere. So most of them don't realize how to care for the hair. So it's not about self hate. It's just that they've not come to realize the beauty of the African hair texture. <laughs> is there any challenges trying to keep it keep it natural? Is there any challenges? Because a lot of people were telling me that. Um, they just use waves for convenience reasons because it's hard to manage the um, natural hair. Do you think there are any challenges trying to maintain your hair so far? No, I don't think there is any challenge. I won't even agree there is a challenge because it is part of life. Life is not smooth. It's not a walk in the park. So caring for your hair shouldn't be that. Once you've realized how beautiful your hair is, you should be able to walk around how to manage it and to tell the world that our hair is good enough for everywhere, everywhere, I mean everywhere. Once you care for your hair, you can rock it everywhere. Would you say that African women should stop using weaves? Of course, 100%. If there's anything higher than 100%, yes, we should stop wearing weaves. We should stop wearing weaves that don't represent the African culture because right now we need to take the African culture to the world and the only way we can do that is to stop wearing wigs that don't represent us there is no way and i repeat there is no way you're actually going to project yourself to the world by covering it up there is no way nobody's gonna know you if i come covering myself up you won't even know it's me exactly so and it starts from the hair it goes to the skin color i'm kind of emotional right now come on because she's saying that african culture to the world and what amaya is preaching what Africa to the world. You know what? Tell me why they need to stop using waves. We should stop using wave because we need to represent the African culture. We need to project the African culture to the world. We need to sell ourselves to the world. And I repeat, we cannot sell ourselves to the world by, by covering it up. There is no way you can do that. So our hair is beautiful. And if you strongly believe in Africa and you are pro-Africa, I see no reason you should cover your hair with a straight weaves. For that matter, it's not African. I just feel like losing my hair now so that you can see. It mm. is not get African. Please, please it closer. is not African. You know, my, my, the one handling the camera is not um, natural right now. So she doesn't want to get closer. <laughs> but anyway, please bring, bring the camera close. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually oh trying. Oh my God. Wow. Like. Wow, this is beautiful. This is this the is Africa beautiful. that the world needs to know. Not the Africa with the straight weaves. No, that is not Africa. Amazing. There is no way you can be selling two things to the world. No way. Tell me, don't you like this? Don't you like this? I love it. I, I don't like it, but I love <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see. Wow. So we need to throw it oh to the goodness. world. We need to tell the world. How do you manage your hair? I care for it. A lot, of, a lot of young girls want to learn from you. How, how, how do you manage it? When it comes to caring for your African hair, your fro hair, your kinky hair, your God-given hair, number one thing is moisture. The African hair loves moisture. So once it comes in contact with water or product that is made with a lot of water, yeah. the kings, the colors will easily loosen up. You can see, I'm even using my hands to comb it. My fingers rather. That's number one thing. And that's the problem most people have. And most people, since I am an African hair promoter and advocate based in Abuja, Nigeria hair, a lot of women have actually approached me and they're like, my hair is dry and the solution is moisture. You know, people think caring for the African hair is a hit and run affair. Wow. It is not a hit and run affair. It's with consistency. Like I've had breakfast this morning and I'm going to have lunch and dinner. So when it comes to your hair, when it is dry, re-moisturize it. When the hair is dry means the hair is hungry. The hair needs more food and you do that. That's so, okay, so the thing I want to add is that if those people with uh, the straight hair, mm. that's the Western world or something, the people with straight hair, if they didn't actually care for their hair, make it look appealing to you, there is no way we will be buying wigs or buying weaves or buying hair extensions. So we need to start caring for our hair. And whenever you get stopped, you can always talk to me. I'm Team Natural. We always support each other. I don't know where Maya, Sexy Maya belongs to. Uh, oh, <laughs> she doesn't know where Sexy Maya belongs to. But me, you know what? I belong to Team Tissue. Oh my God, my tissue is not... No, Team Tissue, man. 
Team <laughs> Tissue. Team Tissue, don't come for me, oh. You mean Western media has a play in black women wearing wigs? Of course they do, because um, if the Western world don't project women with um, straight oh. with that sexy Maya kind of a thing, oh. then there is no way, because the men they project this thing, it gets into our oh. subconscious, wow. and we, the black women will begin to think that that is the right way, I mean, hair to have. Straight weave and all of that, they play a huge role in this. Thank God we have people like me, we have wow. people like uh, Sexy, Sexy Maya, Maya the teen yeah, tissue guy, exactly. that's actually telling the African oh. woman that our hair is good enough and exactly. it is a time for us to send a message back to them. And how do we send this message? It's about, it's about wearing our hair out all the time. Even when I know in workplaces, most people don't get to like accept this fro kind of a thing. But if we repel it, if we repel the influence, then our hair will be accepted everywhere. Oh my goodness. How oh, sexy my Oh no, how come I put my own hair on my face? I just don't know what to say again. But all, all I can say is that if you really want to support Team Natra, all you need to do is to pause this video Go to ID Francis YouTube channel, go click the subscribe button. I'm doing it right now. So you too, go subscribe and support the Team Natural Movement. Yes. Natural all the way, Africa to the world. Africa to the world. Africa head to the world. Africa, to the world. Africa natural head to the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard.